Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here, and today I'll be filming yet another reshoot of a lost review. This time I'm returning to the Transformers Afterlife with... Transformers Hank 8 Starscream Ghost Edition. As you can see here, here's a completely translucent plastic F-15 Eagle based on the Ghost of Starscream from Season 3 of the original Generation 1 cartoon, following its disintegration by Galvatron in the movie. For size comparison, here we have SS-86 Scourge, formerly known as Thundercracker. As you can see, the classic deluxe mold and the SS-86 Voyager mold are more or less the same size in vehicle mode. For gimmicks in vehicle mode, Starscream's uh, chest turbine things can flip out to become front wheel landing gear. And of course he's got his uh, spring-loaded missiles, which because of this is a Takara Henke release, they're actually chromed at the ends here. They're spring-loaded launchers, which is a long-lost gimmick we don't see anymore for safety reasons. I'm not going to fire the missiles on camera for fear of losing them. Plus also it would lose the illusion of the null rays on the arms in robot mode. So without further ado, to transform to robot mode, first take the cannons off of the wings like so. Then flip the wings forward on these double hinges, like so. Unpeg, pull and extend the legs. Fold in and flip up the tail fins, like so. Or you can leave the tail fins uh, out like that for toy accurate mode. Then flip down the feet, like so, and split the lower legs. Next, peel open the fuselage like so, flip out the arms, disconnect the cockpit, rotate it 180 degrees and double hinge it downwards into position to become a chest plate, then fold the nose cone back to become a head, or to reveal the head at least, then plug all of this back into place, bring out the arms, flip out the fists, and attach the missile launchers to the arms like so. And here we have the ghost of Starscream in robot mode. Now, this is a classic 2006 mold, so it's not got as much modern articulation as some of the more recent figures I've reviewed lately, but it is still pretty decently articulated for its time period. For example, there's a minor swivel of the head, which is uh, connected to the back of the nose cone for the transformation, which of course does impede movement somewhat. Then you've got a 360 degree swivel at the shoulders, plus a yeah, slight in and out hinge movement here for transformation purposes. You may need to move the wings a bit to get them out of the way of full arm movement when you're posing them with the arm cannons out. There's also a stiff semi-ratcheted hinge at the elbow for 90 degree motion like so. Whoops. On my copy, the yeah, shoulder paws from a null razor are a bit loose, so bear with me if these fall off for the rest of the video. Then, nothing of the waist used for transformation, nothing of the wrist used for transformation. Ball jointed hips, which also allows for a bit of swivel movability. There's a swivel below the knee joint, and a stiff, just under 90 degrees knee bend. The, yeah, the thrusters are the heel spurs, so they don't move, but the toes do hinge up and down for transformation, so that can provide some on the back foot poses if you so desire. So, for size comparison. And here we have the ghost of Starscream with his two former Seeker allies turned possession victims, Scourge, formerly Thundercracker, and Cyclonus, formerly Skywarp 
do not say in the comments that Skywarp was not Cyclonus but Bombshell was. I am one of the many, many people in the Transformers fandom who believe that Cyclonus was formed from Skywarp and that the sweeps were all the Insecticons. I choose to believe that Bombshell being the Cyclonus transformation in the foreground was an animation error. So, that more or less concludes my review of Transformers Hank A Deluxe Starscream Ghost version. I have been Soundblaster1987. Join me next time for another reshoot review when I'll be looking back at my former eBay purchase, Energon Scorponok. Till then, till all are one.